Hey, what's up guys? Flick here. Welcome back to another episode of the Stuttgart Career Mode. And I said in the last episode, I'll say it again today. This is a big episode for us. We'll be deciding if we can reach the EuroLeague final and also determine if we can stay in the race for the Bundesliga title. Right now we're in third and five points back. But let's take a look at our calendar and see what we do have in store starting with a simulated match against Augsburg. They're currently sitting 14th in the table. I think we can manage to get a win there. And then as we get into May, we have, of course, two legs to play in the EuroLeague semifinal. We've been drawn against Spurs, which are pretty tough opposition, uh, although it could be worse. So I feel like it will be a very close encounter and it should be a good matchup which leaves us with one other match to play, and that will be a home match against Hertha Berlin. Now with four matches left in the Bundesliga, we'd have to have a lot go our way in order to win a title, but stranger things have happened, and we still do have a chance as long as we keep on picking up results. We do have a few difficult fixtures to play though. We have the likes of Leverkusen and Mönchengladbach to think about later. To be fair, Augsburg are in great form, three straight wins for them. So we will have our work cut out for us today, but with a fairly strong lineup, I feel like we can edge out this result, even if it is away from home. But still scoreless, 30 minutes into the match, a yellow card, finally something happening. But Leitner gets the goal in the 42nd minute. A couple of substitutions taking place, and might not be the most wise of substitutions, but Werner does get a goal in the 62nd minute. Can we get one more and pick up three points? Getting into the dying minutes of the match, we only are able to get a draw, which is obviously not what I was looking for, but that should hold our third place position pretty steady. It's time for our monthly squad report, and not too much will have changed aside from the form and the morale. I'm expecting a lot of our players to be in good or excellent form because we've been getting a lot of results both domestically and continentally and that should reflect in this squad report. A few players are unhappy on their morale and some of that may be attributed to them not getting play time but the rest of the players I'll offer up some contracts and see if that can boost their morale. I'll be keeping the player training the exact same as last month as we get to the final stretch of the season we'll be focusing on Baumgartel in order to help him reach that 80 rating. Once again we will be playing the first leg of our EuroLeague fixture at home which is a huge advantage for us and in terms of the player fitness a few players are slightly low on their player's stamina but I don't see this being a problem for this match. Ourselves, Spurs, Liverpool, and Bayern Munich are the only teams left in the Euro League. That's some serious competition for us. I would argue that Spurs have one of the strongest lineups we've faced. They have brought in Obama Young, which means they have a clinical striker to replace Harry Kane. It's a good header one, and we might be able to get to this well done by Afori. And now it's Kloshinic providing some support for Cherny. I'd like for him to keep his run going, but we still have it with Cherny. Sending a cross in. This is going to be Ginchek, but it's Rose who chests it down and gets it cleared. There we go. Finally, some build up play. And if Werner can play this ball to Ginchek, we might have a chance. And it's off the crossbar. What an opportunity for us to get the first goal of the match. Hugo Lloris, there's no way he would have saved that if that was on target. Uh, we need to be more clinical in those kind of chances. Good strength by Ginchek, and he's still on it, but Rose does take it away. Playing it forward to Delhi. Now Aubameyang, good tackle by Baumgartel. And he's able to find the outlet in Mane. We finally are gaining some confidence, and if we can get this run on the left, this could be another through ball opportunity. It's a four, he pushing up, trying to get the shot off. That's a clean tackle by Walker, fair play. Stats wise, I would argue that Spurs have been the better side. I'm surprised to see they had seven shots on target. Ziegler had to pull off like one or two good saves, but it did not seem like seven. Uh, but possession wise as well, they have 55% of the possession. Something needs to change in the next 45 minutes. I don't think our lineup is necessarily the problem, but I will make one substitution. Dennis Taylor, I feel like bringing a young player in this sort of match will be the difference maker. And Taylor has impressed me throughout the season. He'll need to impress me again here. Here's Delhi. A little bit of miscommunication from our defense. McCarthy somehow got that through ball. And once again, that's a save from Ziegler. And a corner kick for Spurs. They'll play to the far post. Easy pickings for Ziegler. Ginchek's making the run. He is onside. It's a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He needs to get this shot off. Hugo Lloris pulls off the save. We're still with it. I think that was Maxime. 
that completely whiffed on the ball. Our second chance in the match to potentially take the lead. That time, Hugo Lloris pulled off a big save. Taylor's open on the wing, and he might have the pace here to get in behind. Playing a low cross in the middle. This is Werner, and it's off the post now. We've been so unlucky in this match. And Hugo Lloris, speak about a lucky keeper. He had us completely miss the first opportunity. Pulled off a good save on the second one. And now we've hit the post again. And then Aubameyang goes and does that. He did a little bit of left trigger, right trigger action and absolutely buried it to the far post. We should have closed him down to be fair, but we need to go out and get this equalizer. We cannot afford to go into White Hart Lane with a 1-0 disadvantage. Here we go. Great build-up play. Maxime just bury this one. Another save from Luis. This time, though, the rebound goes straight back to us, and Afori did well to follow that up. It's 1-1. I'm going to make a few substitutions to try to get a second. I think it'll be our striker and center attacking mid that gets subbed off. Ginchek will be brought off, and Taroda who's had a couple of decent goals this season, will be brought on. Ozkan has returned from his injury, so we'll get some playing time. Here's Ozkan, who buries that one into the side netting. Well done, and what a return back to Stuttgart. The first 10 or so minutes, he comes back from his injury, and then he scores against Hugo Lloris, who has made save after save today. He won't be getting to that one, and now we have the aggregate lead. Oh, Werner's on side, and surely he has the pace to outrun the defender. Needs to bury this one by Lloris. He's getting tugged by his jersey. Somehow we're still on it. I didn't even have a hand on the control there for a second, but we're able to recover and get a third unanswered goal, a 3-1 advantage on aggregate, and that was just a strange turn of events. I have to see what Hugo Lloris was doing. He just needed to pick up the ball, and it actually bounced away. That is just ridiculous. I genuinely haven't seen such a strange turn of events happen this season. I would feel pretty hard done if I was a Spurs fan, but we came back strong in the second half, finally getting some shots on target and testing out Hugo Lloris. Ozkan came on in the second half, managed to get a 9.2 rating and man the match. Hertha Berlin will be our next opponent and after getting a draw in our previous match, I think the chances of us winning the Bundesliga this season are fairly slim, but we can still potentially finish second. If we were to get a win, we can close the gap that Leverkusen has to two points. And remember, we still play them once more this season. With our mind now set on the EuroLeague, I'll be letting the majority of our first teamers sit out this match, with the exception of Timo Werner, because apparently he just does not get tired. I'll let him play the first half and then probably bring on Coyote for the second half. But as previously mentioned in other episodes, our second team plays practically as well as our first team. You really can't tell the difference in game. Hertha Berlin genuinely have one of my favorite sides in career mode. Their center back partnership of John Brooks and Nicholas Stark is absolutely incredible. And Mitchell Weiser is one of my favorite right backs in FIFA 17. What a finish by the Berlin attacker. I felt like we had that covered. Anguene really wasn't giving him much space, but he had a hit. And he was still able to beat Ziegler. And here's Taroda waiting for the run. He slips in. Gendner in behind. Now playing into the middle. Taroda in front of goal. Needs to at least get a shot off next time. Another decent save by Ziegler. Berlin have come to play today. They are getting shot after shot off, and I don't know what we're gonna have to do to change this. That's some great passing, but the finishing needs to be better by Brecklow. I know he's a, a young player. He doesn't have as much experience as the rest of the guys, but in front of goal like that, he needs to put it on target and away from the keeper. A pretty disappointing display in the first 45 minutes. We had our chances. We just did not take advantage of those. And now we need to make some substitutions. Obviously, we need to think ahead to our EuroLeague fixture against Spurs. So I will take Werner off and bring on Coyote for the remainder of this match. Brecklow missed that sitter in front of goal. So he will be taken out. And Cortez 
brought on. Our final change will be Kellen Acosta, who's been complaining about his playtime lately, so we'll see out this match for Gettner. An unmarked player in front of goal like that. It's a good thing that Ziegler's between the sticks for us because most keepers would not have been able to save that. Finally, we're able to retain possession and get a goal kick out of it. Oh, that is just poor defending. I maybe should have switched over to the defender that was inside, but Berlin have put two great chances away into the side netting. Not much Ziegler could have done about that. They just cut us on, a, on the break, and that's a tidy little finish. Oh, Berlin are going to make it three. It's just the icing on the cake for them. And I'm not exaggerating, exaggerating when I say this has been one of our worst performances all season. Granted, this is our second team, so I don't think this is descriptive of how we expect to play against Spurs, but it is worrying. We just didn't do enough offensively to even stand a chance in this match. Ziegler pulled off a couple of good saves, but it was some nice finishes by Berlin that led them to a 3-0 result. Man, the match will go to a Berlin player. It was Dorita from the center defensive mid position. Looking ahead to who we may potentially face in the final of the EuroLeague if we were to advance, it's likely that it would be Bayern Munich. They currently have a 4-0 aggregate lead over Liverpool. And you could say Bayern having a fantastic season. You never know what might happen away from home, but we have a strong lineup to show for it today. All of our first teamers are well rested and I don't see stamina being an issue today. You have to wonder what these Spurs players are thinking. What sort of mindset they have going into this match. I can speak for our players, we're brimming with confidence. And already you can see some of the space that Spurs are allowing us. They are making some tackles from behind. That may be an early yellow card for Jan Vertonghen. Now it's Mane finding Ginchek. We're gonna play this ball inside. Werner one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Needs to find a way to get this by Lloris. And that is the confidence I was talking about. Timo Werner knows how to score goals. He'll do it again today. You can see from this replay how far Lloris was off his line. All Werner had to do was a finesse shot to the far post, and that's an easy goal. Well, this is bad news for us. Maxime has suffered a serious injury, and this is probably the worst time of the season for it to occur. We only have a few matches to play. Luckily, though, Uzkan has recovered from his injury, so we can bring him on. Relative to the first match, this has been a very tame 45 minutes for Spurs, and they have a mountain to climb if they do want to get back into this one. Whereas we, we can sit back and defend and just see out this match. I'm going to make one additional change at the halftime break. Mane will be brought off, and Cortez will be brought on. And this could be a second goal for us in this match. Ginchek has done the defender. He needs to find a way to get this shot off. Not really having any room to shoot. Getting around a few more defenders. And Lloris has to pull off the save. We'll play it in the middle. And nothing does result out of it. Spurs need to start thinking about going all out of tag. They have a lot of goals to come back to. And I'm not sure they can even make this happen in 15 minutes. But Lamella trying to play the ball out wide. Cortez does get it cleared. Svensson now trying to find a few outlets. And here we go. The attack is on. We may be able to get another goal in this match. This is Cherney pushing up on the left-hand side. Trying to cut this one back in the middle. And still with it. He's able to find Uzkan. The finesse shot will be on target. But Lloris makes a save. What a save again by Ziegler, and what a keeper he has been for us this season. Spurs are literally going all out of attack, so I'm going to push one of our players up. In the case that Ziegler can't collect this, we're going to kick this one as far as we possibly can, but unfortunately, he was taken out, which pretty much destroyed all chances of a counterattack. I'll admit that we didn't display our best attack this season, but we did exactly what we needed to do. Hold on to our aggregate lead, and we will be advancing to the final of the EuroLeague. What a season finale that will be. Man of the match today, going to Daniel Ginchek with an 8.5 rating. But guys, that'll wrap things up for today's episode of the Stuttgart Career Mode. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you're interested, you can follow me on my social links. There's links to those in the description down below. But until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.